Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in this video, we're gonna be install, installing, inst installing the wiring loom that goes with this guy. Let's get started. So you would have seen in the last build up very, or maybe you haven't seen, check out the link up the top there. The last video in the build series of the 2021 D-Max was the TGM rear bar. Came up an absolute treat, big fan. Still need a bit of a toe ball happening there, but it's on its way. But this thing is, is tough as nails, more details in that video. But if you're gonna actually be using the towing component, you kinda need the wiring loom. So that's what this video is all about. And to get this thing plugged in, it is a pretty easy mod, so it will be a quick one. There's a couple of different versions. You can sort of DIY it, of course, and run your own loom and that kind of thing. But with the D-Maxes, they actually have an ECU that goes with it. And what that does is when you plug your trailer in, which I'm definitely gonna be tying with this thing with the camber trailer and what have you around the corner there, because of all the IDAS and safety central stuff that the D-Maxes have, with the OEM trailer loom, when you plug in your trailer, it will turn off a bunch of the sensors for you. So, so that's the way I've went, and this is what the kit looks like. Model number wise is this guy right there. If you're interested, I think they run about, it's about a hundred and something dollars, so not too bad, but pretty simple stuff. In the kit, you get a trailer ECU, which uh, does ECU things. I'm assuming this is the diode section that, uh, that turns off the safety stuff or talks to it. The zip ties, we have the actual harness itself and a bag of bolts. Now step one actually involves the front of the car which is disconnecting your negative battery. It's always recommended when you're playing with electronics to do that. On to the next part which is grabbing your trailer ECU and this needs to be mounted underneath. So depending on what you ended up going with for your either tow bar or rear bar will kind of depend on where this guy lives because with the original Isuzu tow bar, there's actually a spot for this. There's a, a little bit of, there's a, a mounting plate for this to sit up underneath the bar. Now with the TJM, there isn't such a bar. We do have our actual mounting plate here for the trailer side of things. So that's gonna sit in there. Also has spots in here for Anderson plugs, that sort of stuff, but for the actual ECU, which normally lives in here somewhere, doesn't exist on the TGM, but I think that's okay. There's plenty of spots where we can get this up out of the way. So the next step is to locate the factory loom that is ready to accept any trailer modifications. And that is this here. So I'm under the left-hand side of the tub and you can see other than the TGM gear, which once again, if you haven't checked that out, check it out at the top, pretty good kit. This is the loom right here. So it has a little protecting cap on the, on the end just to cap it off. So it's a matter of removing said cap, which is just a push and pull scenario. And look at that, you can even do it one-handed. That's a bit of a fluke. And that's it there. So that's what we want to connect to. So grab our wiring harness, the loom, and we can plug that in and start positioning where you want to put it. So here's our loom ECU. First thing is just to connect this guy up first. All you got to do, look for the big pins at the top there. Big pins there, so we go in this way pretty sort of straightforward. Now it's not, don't try and hulk it all together because it can only go in so far and then this is one of those swivel around. You can see where it links in there. So just push him all the way around and that will latch it into position. Then you're good to go. So then it's a matter of getting this guy and jumping underneath. And then once you're underneath, remembering to locate the harness that you've already removed the dummy cap for and then just get this guy in there and connect it. Clicked into place. Now that we're plugged in all up the top, it's just about routing our harness through. We need to get this guy down to here. If you have the TGM bar or if you have anything else, you can obviously have a spot for the trailer connector. So if you are running a TGM, you're gonna go, hmm, how am I gonna route it? Because it won't fit through the section here. But good news, this is the part where you want to route it through. So there's a big gap there. You don't want to run it down below this part of any sort of trailer rear bar because 
that's going to be copping some abuse if you're doing some proper off-roading. So you don't want your loom sort of sitting over it like that. That's going to be no good. You want to get it up and over and down into here so it's not going to be catching on anything. So there we go. And our ECU is actually in a pretty good spot there. So I think that's probably where it's going to live. We'll just zip tie it into place so the thing doesn't rattle around. And then from here, we just need to get our harness into position. Now, depending on what you've got going on here, uh, whether you've got Anderson plugs or anything like that, just position it obviously where you need it. So it's in easy reach when you are hooking up a trailer. All right, so there we go. Now I've opted to put, have this back a little bit so that it's nice and protected underneath. Still easy to get the trailer plug in, as you can see there, but like it's sort of how it's all nice and pretty tucked up. Wiring harness is nice and out of the way as well, so that's pretty good. Final step here is grabbing the zip ties that came with the kit or ones that you have, and I'd just be making sure that everything's nice and secure, that it's not gonna drop down and sort of grab on anything or, or, or what have you. So zip tie the rest up, tied it up, and we're pretty much done. Well, that's it for another one, guys. This one, nice and easy, simple install. You definitely don't wanna be paying someone to do this. This is something you can totally tackle yourself. The next thing we're gonna be doing for our build series is installing one of these guys, a brake controller, into the rig as well. So that way we can tow some bigger loads and what have you with with camper trailers and caravans and trailers and all that sort of stuff so watch out for that video it will be linked in the description there is a bit of a playlist that's happening now for the build series on our 21 d max x terrain so check that out in the links are there all the videos that we've been doing on all the installs are there so thanks guys for watching hit the subscribe and the bell to be notified of all the new videos as they come out appreciate all the comments and the questions leave them down below and as always guys i hope that you have an amazing day and i will see you in the next video cheers guys